In a small, worn-down village nestled in the shadow of the mountains, there lived a family of five, the Greys. John Gray was the father, a man of strong principles, known for his honesty and hard work. His wife, Mary, was gentle yet resilient, with a heart that held the family together. Their three children, Eliza, James, and little Sarah, were the light of their lives. The Greys lived humbly but happily until the day tragedy struck. John Gray passed away unexpectedly, leaving his family in a state of grief and despair. Though the family had little wealth, John had always reassured Mary that their children would be taken care of through the small estate and land he owned. However, John's younger brother, Richard Gray, had other plans. A shrewd and cunning man, Richard saw his brother's death as an opportunity. He knew that John had left no formal will, trusting that his family would do what was right. But Richard was not a man of honor. Using deceitful tactics and taking advantage of Mary's vulnerability, he claimed ownership of the land and property, leaving the Greys with nothing but their small, dilapidated home. With no source of income, Mary was forced to work for the wealthier families in the village, taking up menial jobs to provide for her children. Eliza, the eldest, helped her mother as much as she could, doing laundry, cleaning, and even sewing clothes for the villagers. James, although still a child, took on small jobs, fetching water and running errands. Sarah, the youngest, too young to work, spent her days in the village school, dreaming of a better future. Despite their hardships, Mary instilled in her children the values of hard work, integrity, and resilience. She never spoke ill of their uncle, but the children understood the injustice that had been done to them. They vowed silently to right the wrongs that had been inflicted upon their family. As the years passed, Eliza and James grew into young adults. Eliza, with her sharp mind and strong will, aspired to become a lawyer, determined to fight for justice. James, strong and resourceful, studied the law and business, driven by a desire to reclaim what was rightfully theirs. When Eliza turned 18, she began working as an apprentice at a local law firm. James, meanwhile, managed to gather evidence of their father's rightful ownership of the land, carefully documenting everything Richard had done to deceive them. One day, Eliza and James sat their mother down and explained their plan. They would take their uncle to court, using the law to reclaim their father's estate. Mary, though worried about the potential dangers and conflicts, gave her blessing. She had raised her children to fight for what was right, and now it was time for them to do so. The legal battle was long and grueling. Richard, now a wealthy man, used every trick in the book to delay the proceedings, hoping to exhaust his niece and nephew. But Eliza and James were relentless. They had inherited their father's determination and their mother's resilience. The villagers, who had once looked down on the poor greys, now saw them as a symbol of hope and justice. 